If you're looking at staying more organized with the family this year, a sauna may be the answer uh, that you've been looking for. So today we're going to talk about tasks and subtasks. And you can see here, this is the Asana screen. I have multiple people here uh, loaded in, family members uh, loaded into Asana as well. So let's go ahead and just look at this as an example of a task. So this is a task. We created it by hitting the plus sign. This is a task due on the 31st. Now this is a task for McKay, but I want to talk a little bit about subtasks. So here, we're going to just put here, um, put, we're going to put two subtasks in here, just so we can take a look and how we can issue out these subtasks and manage these subtasks. So here, the objective here is to put the Christmas boxes in the storage area. The first thing we need to do is move those boxes, right? put those boxes in the basement. And we're going to go ahead and assign this task to McKay. All right. And then move to the shelf. We're going to assign that to McKay as well. So here are two, two tasks, subtasks that he's been assigned. But just for giggle sakes, let's just assign me uh, to move to shelf. So here, there's one conflict here. This is the task. These are the subtasks. This is the owner of the task, but that owner may sub out the subtasks, right? Give the subtasks out to others to complete. So they can keep ownership of this. And I'm going to show you what that looks like in just a moment, as well as the due date of the 31st. Now they may say here for this person, hey, we're going to do that on the 28th and I want you to do it on the 30th. So these are subtasks. Now, before we go off of the subtasks, here you can click on this and put notes specific to putting basement boxes in the basement. So you could add little notes here. And you could also add subtasks within the subtask. All right, so it can get pretty nested pretty quick. Note here that this line is always here for you to move back. So here we have this task. So let's see what this task looks like on our calendar. So one of the nice features um, are, is the calendar within Asana that allows us to take a look at what tasks we have going on and um, you know where they may be. So here you can see some of the tasks and the progress made on those tasks. And here it doesn't do Saturday and Sunday. So you see Saturday right there. We're just going to click on that. And notice here it says put boxes in the basement. This is the name of the task itself. This is a subtask. Put boxes in storage. Put boxes in storage. This move to the shelf is the subtask. This is the task name. Put Christmas boxes. Put boxes the subtask. And then the task it came from is there. And we can click on that task to see what it looks like. So put boxes. And then this is the primary task. Subtasks, primary task. Now notice we do have a date of the 31st. So let's see if that shows up on the 31st as well. And notice here that it shows up as a colored box. Because I have all the projects colored. Family happens to be red. It's going to appear here. So this is the final due date. And then these are the subtasks within this final due date. Now, for some people, this gets a little confusing. So I'm going to complete this task by just going to the side there and completing it. I can also go into the task itself and say, yep, got it. Go back to the main task area and see that everything's done. See, I see now it's grayed out. But sometimes it's confusing for people to have the main task in there. So what you can do is just go ahead and remove that that, that task's due date. When you remove the due date, it's going to go ahead and take it off of your calendar. When you go back to it, you're still going to see that here, the primary task, McKay is still the owner, but there's no due date because we've assigned due dates here on the subtasks, which appear here on the calendar. So it's really however you want to deal with it, uh, you can deal with it. These big colored ones, we know for sure are actual tasks and then these ones that are not colored are the subtasks of workout so let's look at one more example from Jackson here we can go to Jackson's area and we can see here workout he's done workout with three subtasks legs chest and cardio here we'll assume that he did the legs all right and uh, so he has tomorrow notice here that he's got us due date of yesterday. We're going to take that off because really his due dates are tomorrow and Friday. So when we go back and look at this 
on the calendar view, we're going to be able to see his workouts still on the day. Whoops. Let's go to the team calendar. We're going to be able to see his workouts uh, still on there. But uh, let's go ahead and do that. And you see here, Jackson workout here, Jackson workout here. But we don't have that final Jackson workout, the big colored um, goal so or task. So that's how you do tasks and subtasks.